Closed captioning for The Casey Malone Show is sponsored by Hunter Stevens Land Title Agency. Integrity, service, and commitment you can trust. Oh, yeah. Casey Malone is serving up local. It's time for the stories of our region, the tastes, the sights, the sounds, and the people in and around the valley. Get ready for some local flavor on The Casey Malone Show. Today, portrait artist Irene Schaefer shares her artwork. And I prepare cacho e pepe with roasted maitake mushrooms. But first, I go mushroom hunting with the Koiro family. Well, you remember my friend Sam Koiro? What do you call him, Sonny? Hmm? What, what do you call Grandpa? Papa. Papa. The Mushroom King. Papa. Papa well, is the also, Mushroom Papa King. Papa is the Mushroom <laughs> King. And uh, a few years back, we went morel hunting. Well, now we're going to go with the sheep heads. Manel, Hand of the Wood, whatever they want to call it. They've got so yeah. many different names, names for this, but the season is right now. It's, right now. Um, it's in, early fall. It's, it's really good this year. They're everywhere. Anybody can go looking for them. They can't find them. That means they're not looking too good. Because what they're do we not want? Dead for. trees? No, you stumps uh, stump and uh, oak trees, big oak trees. I know uh, poor Nick. His grandson has gotten an allergic reaction to yes, mushrooms now. But he ate them the other day and he was all right. And he's all right. So maybe these are he healthy. Took, he took Benadryl. <laughs> he did take Benadryl took before Benadryl. he ate them. Yeah. All right. So we're going to go on a little uh, excursion here. And uh, we are going to bring home some uh, sheep's head, some hen of the woods, whatever you want to call them. But these are a lot more... Uh, available, aren't they? Aren't right. They and well, the season is longer. Oh, okay. The season for these is a lot longer. Where the um, morels, they only last maybe a, a good month. And, and this season here, they could go on for two and a half months. You know, it'll start in September and it can go all the way into November. I find them in November. Very seldom. Uh oh. There's one. What do you think, son? Yeah, there it is. Okay, now how do we uh, extract them? Uh, Give us the lowdown. Now, see, how deep some, do we go, Sonny? You, well, you got to leave the bed spot there. See, you leave that there. For the regrowth? Well, no, because you 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 can't clean that. It's not a good one. Okay. See. Wow. Then we get rid of this this stuff. See this stuff here. You yeah, don't need look at that. that. Yeah. See. And then what you do is, it's almost like cauliflower. Yeah. You kind of take off from the main vein. See the bugs in there? That's nice, yeah. Did you find some? My gosh, yeah. Sonny, you're like a little puppy dog. You're sniffing out all this stuff. Wow. That is awesome. Are you, you going to cut it? You want to cut this one too? Yeah. OK. Oh, good job, good job. Now we'll cut this one. You're gonna really like these. <laughs> They're delicious. So, Sonny, you have really been uh, out here picking mushrooms for the last couple weeks, huh? Is this like one of your biggest finds, you think? Mm -hmm. I, this one, I cut. You cut yourself. Yeah, he cut And them. look at this one. This oh, is the perfect specimen. That is a good of one. Of what I'll they should look that. like. Now, for those who have not gotten these before, and they let's say they go out picking, what I did was I kind of just peeled it off yeah. and then broke it to clean it. Yeah. Now, do you soak yours? What do you recommend? I put it in a bucket sometime and I'll leave it overnight. But sometime, if I don't have time, I clean them, put them in a pan, and um, I change the water two, three times. Sometime I'll leave it overnight. And then in the morning, I'll, I boil them for five minutes. Okay. Yeah. And then do you have to squeeze out the excess water? Or no, anything? I just let it drain itself out in the 
coal in there, and then my wife puts them in a freezing freezer bag, you know. Oh, so you have these all year round, they freeze yeah. well? Yeah, they freeze real well, yes they do. And we all, always, some people don't boil them, but I believe in boiling them. Well, I think this was a lot of fun, and I, of yes, course, yes. Sam, always appreciate you joining us on our mushroom adventures. That was good. Are yeah, we going to go and um, go, try to get the morale again? Yeah, yeah, in, whenever that in the time spring. Comes. Yeah, yeah, in the spring. You going to come with us this time, Sonny? Oh, he's coming. You know, last time I went, you weren't even born. <laughs> you were a twinkle in your father's eye when, uh, <laughs> when Sam and I went morale hunting the last time. What do you think about that? Isn't that oh, yeah, crazy? He's going to come. And yeah. then, uh, I mean, it is like a full meal. We are going to definitely go back to the kitchen. Yeah. Bee, should I invite you over? Will you eat it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Koiro family. I appreciate this. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Bernard. I've been giving the people of our valley free advice for over 30 years, and my message has never changed. If you're involved in a car, truck, or motorcycle accident, don't try to handle it yourself. Call a lawyer. A lawyer will be your representative, dealing with doctors, medical insurance, and all the red tape that you may face. Hiring a lawyer doesn't mean you'll end up in court, and remember, there are no upfront fees on personal injury cases. That's good advice. Need a lawyer? Learn more at ElizabethBernardLaw.com. RNS Paint is a locally owned paint store and not a paint department. Inspiration comes easy when choosing exciting Benjamin Moore colors and finish. Over 3,400 vibrant and durable colors are yours at RNS Paint. Family owned Mayflower Wilm Insurance Group is your full service independent agency. Our family works with a variety of insurance companies so you have the best choices for your insurance needs. Let us find the right product at the right price. Personal lines, business, farm, commercial insurance, life insurance. Trust locally owned Mayflower Woolen. You focus on what's important. We'll take care of the details. Mayflower Woolen, close by with three locations to serve you. Woolley Brothers has a great choice of quality cheeses. We use our relationship with Old Road Houses to specially select the product and then have it custom cut and packaged by our own local artisans. At Woolley Brothers Market, our family is in the store. Join the Island Purple Cat family. Employment opportunities are available. Given is living. Join the Island Purple Cat family. Employment opportunities are available at $13 an hour. Given is living. My basement was dreadful. Cracked concrete, chipped tiles, it was my dumping ground. Carpet, vinyl, wood, don't last. Now I have Pebble Stone, the best basement floor covering. Made with natural stone and the strongest man-made binder. Pebble Stone evened out my floor. Easy to clean, resists moisture, and withstands flooding. You will love your basement. Call today and receive 65% off and have Pebble Stone installed by the holidays. Well, you saw me go into the woods with the koi rose. There was four generations that uh, mushroom hunted with me, and it was really cute. You know, the great-grandson, Sonny, called Sam koi Rose, the mushroom king. And I learned a lot. What are they, sheep's head? They're uh, hen of the woods. Uh, the Hungarians call them tupla. And in Asian, it's the uh, maitake mushroom. So they're all the same though. And they're very abundant in our region from late September through early November. So go and look for them. Look at this, it's a beautiful specimen that I saved. And all you do is take, you know, they're like feathers almost. And this is what you want. You'll just take that off. You do have to wash them well. And a good suggestion is to get them super dry, uh, put them in a salad spinner. But you know, look at the nice white at the bottom. And they're really, this is a very nice fresh specimen. 
and um, not that hard to clean, but you just want to make sure they're dry before we prepare them. So I really want to thank the Quiros for taking me out with them because that was a lot of fun. And I've got a great recipe uh, to saute them. That'll be on my website, but this one you are really going to like. This is a main dish. This is your entree course, and it is a cacho e pepe with roasted maitakis. And you know that great Italian dish that's really butter, cheese, with a lot of black pepper? Well, we kick it up a notch, and we throw the roasted mushrooms on top. It is super easy, super simple, very few ingredients, so let's get cooking. For this recipe, you'll need eight ounces of Italian pasta, one cup of grated Parmesan cheese, one half stick of unsalted butter at room temperature, one pound of maitake hen of the wood mushrooms, six cloves of minced garlic, one tablespoon of fresh chopped thyme leaves, one tablespoon of crushed red pepper, one tablespoon of salt, and two tablespoons of freshly ground black pepper for divided use. Well, I've preheated the oven to 375 degrees, and that is where we're going to roast the mushrooms. So I have them torn into nice pieces, not too big, but they're bite-sized. They shrink a little bit when you roast them. And what I'm gonna do is add pepper, salt, the garlic, very important, lots of garlic, and I'm going to add the chopped thyme leaves, and, oops, the crushed red pepper, all right? So I just put them in the bowl, and then I'm just gonna mix them up. You don't need oil for this, because you kind of want them a dry roast. And then I have a cookie sheet that I have lined with parchment. And what I'm gonna do is just lay these out, and you just don't want them to overlap and we are gonna pop them in the oven for 20 minutes. All right, 20 minutes. And then the pasta is only gonna take about eight minutes for al dente. So uh, about halfway through the cooking time, I'll drop the pasta and we'll be assembling this dish. It's so easy and so quick and so flavorful. Make sure you save about a cup of the pasta water and uh, right before we drain it, here is your preparation for the dish. The cup of Parmesan, or you can use Romano. The room temperature butter. Ooh, nice and soft. It just doesn't mix as well if you take it right out of the fridge. And then the tablespoon of fresh ground pepper. Now, what you can do is add just a little bit of the pasta water and that'll start loosening up the sauce and getting it ready for the hot pasta. So you can see we have these beautiful mushrooms just out of the oven. I will drop that pasta and drain it, and then we shall eat. So this is like being served table side. You just dump the hot pasta on it, and you mix it up with the sauce. Keep drying it up from the bottom. If it looks a little dry, and I think it looks a teeny oh, I don't, bit dry. Just, just a, a tad. Bit. I'm gonna add just a little more, just a drizzle. You don't wanna get too waterlogged to just help loosen it up, but look at that. I am just going to start dumping these in. Look at that, oh, all those good ingredients. And then we just mix that up a little further. Mm, delicious. And I'm on the wrong side. Voila. That's a nice hearty. Oh, this is a great mushrooms. winner. Yes. And because you got to have the mushrooms in there. Mm. So since it is pepe, there you go. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Sublime. Mmm. So good. And the main ingredient, you foraged yourself. Mm. Now, because this is a rich pasta dish with the cheese in that, we are going to have some uh, trapeze. This is from Argentina. It's a um, Mendoza, it's a Malbec. 
And I think this works well with the cheese, the pasta, and here's to your foraging. Thank <laughs> you, These are desperate times. Oh. I go to the woods for my meal. <laughs> Isn't this nice? It is. It really cuts Oh, this everything. is wonderful. How easy is this? Go to my website, caseymaloneshow.com. I've got this recipe there. I've also got a really easy one for sauteed, uh, you know, hen of the woods, whatever you want to call them, my talkie. There's a million names for them because they're mm. all over the world. But get foraging and get your mushrooms and uh, get those recipes. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. To own a business where your name's on the window can be pretty cool. That's my family. My name is Danny Catullo and I'm the owner of Catullo Prime Meats. My grandfather started the business in 1962. I was able to take our old style butcher shop and bring it out to the new age using e-commerce to get our products to more customers. When we started shipping, there was not a ton of information out there. That's where we really worked with FedEx so they could be able to help us with our perishable shipping. We were taking on new purchases that we never had to make before. Boxes, coolers, ice packs, anything that was involved around shipping. So we can no longer do this with the cash that we had on hand. So because of the plum card from American Express and all of its benefits, it was a natural fit to help grow our business. When someone calls and lets you know that you made their dinner, that's satisfaction that you can't get anywhere else. Selling engagement rings never gets old. It's love. It's a huge untaping because they're gonna wear that ring probably forever, but if they're not gonna wear it forever, they're gonna pass it down to somebody. Our rings will hold a lifetime and we wanna make sure it does. We stand by every single thing that we sell. I believe I can find the perfect ring. I really try to get them exactly what she would want. And to just be a little part of that is really, it warms your heart inside. Get real, get Kamara. Ruli Brothers is way ahead of the competition. Check out Ruli Spice World, where you can buy bulk herbs and spices, plus candies, nuts, and fillings for pennies on the dollar. At Ruli Brothers Market, our family is in the store. Here at Creekside Fitness and Health Center, we are focused on you. From cardio and strength equipment to classes and personal training. Your all-inclusive membership gives you access to a full-size basketball court, pool, hot tub, sauna, and steam room and over 60 classes per week are all included free with your membership. Membership and personal training specials are happening now, so come experience life on the fit side at Creekside, your neighborhood gym. Is it time to update your color style? r &S Paint will assist you with your choice of over 3,400 Benjamin Moore colors. Vibrant, durable, and easy to apply. Be current, be stylish. Shop RNS Paint. I am here with Rude the Dude from the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery. Whether you're partying holiday style in person or at home, you've got everybody covered. Yes, we have them covered here. You know, we developed a really good catering menu half pan, full pans, office parties. Uh, family parties, anything off-site that we can handle, but also to insight, we still have our banquet room, which holds up to about 85 people for buffets, limited menus. Again, office parties, family parties, we can get you covered any way you like. And you know what's really great? Rest assured, Magic Tree Pub and Eatery really takes the sanitation and the social distancing guidelines seriously. So you can trust them. Oh yeah, so you know, we want to thank the community for the support over the last few months in the pandemic, and uh, we're looking forward to a new year here. It's gonna be a great year. Go to their website or Facebook for the complete menu. Happy holidays. Well, this is Irene Schaefer, and she is a local artist, Canfield native, and uh, just a really interesting person that you need to know. And you have been 
an artist your entire life. I mean, you must have started as a little girl. And I did. I used to have my grandfather come in from Cleveland when I, I lived at Deal Lick and also too. Yes. And uh, so he'd come in and uh, he lived with us for a while. And I'd draw his picture. And your family encouraged it because you went to the Pittsburgh Art Institute. Yes. And also, when I was around nine years old, I went to Youngstown College. My mother gave me art, oil painting lessons, and her name was Miss Evans. Miss Evans, at the, now see, you're and dating yourself there when you call it Youngstown. College. I know, well, <laughs> I, I was very young then. <laughs> and then you came back to Youngstown. Yes, I after did. After your school, and I was saying, you know, she's a lot like Andy Warhol because <laughs> you, your first job was commercial illustrations yeah, that, that's right. for department stores, that's right. just like Andy. That's right. I took up that. and uh, What we, kind of things did you draw for the department stores? Uh, oh, uh, usually, like I draw everything. I mean, I did everything from notions when they had the page full. They, did, they didn't take pictures then. What is a notion? Uh, uh, paper clips, <laughs> okay. writing paper. Yes. Uh, uh, attacks. Uh, memo di you know, papers. So it was all for like the store yeah, ads. It was in the in the store ads. They didn't take photographs of things because they came out muddy in the newspaper. Well, yeah, and it was probably really expensive yes. for that transfer. That's why. Well, like when I did furniture, well, I'll tell you about that later. But when I did furniture, the um, furniture, if you looked at it in the paper, the photograph, you couldn't tell whether it was oak, maple, yeah. birch. And you know, you named so many department stores when when we were talking earlier. You know, went back to Abraham. Yes, Livingston. I, yeah. Well, I did that on my freelance, and I did that. And then um, when I went, uh, I went to um, uh, McKelvey's. Yes. And then I went after after um, I married Dr. Schaefer. Yes. I uh, was bored. And I mean, golf on Tuesdays wasn't enough, you know. Yeah. So anyway, so you went back to yeah. work. So I went back to work, and then I uh, drew furniture for Eckert's Furniture, yeah. Mill and uh, Mark. And so, how did you transition into oh. portraits? Oh, okay. Well, after um, uh, Mark and uh, his dad closed Close. the store, I started doing pictures for. Ben Broderick at Salem Hills Country Club. And he let me put pictures of people that, that are, were members, members and that in out there. Yeah. And on a, on a wall. Well, do you, do you prefer doing from a picture or do you want the subject to sit in front no, of you? No, I would not put any child through that. So you're not gonna go? No, I get a picture and <laughs> I have, they, the picture has to be, I mean, oh, about like this size or a little bit wider. Or, you know, almost this size. This is the size that I work from. It's uh, 11 by 14. And I draw within there, and I just draw a thing like that. And then I sketch it. And then I, after I do that, and I look, it looks pretty good to me, because I don't put any kind of color on it until I know that that's what I want. And then, so it's all in like pencil when you start? Yeah, oh yeah. And then is that become ink and paint? No, and what I do, what, what I do with the pencil, because uh, sometimes I go, I use a number two, which is soft. Uh -huh. I don't want it to dig into the, uh, the paper. So what I do is I uh, do that, the uh, pencil work, and then I take a, an eraser. It's a kneaded eraser. It just covers it real easy it takes it you still see the outline yes so then I don't I don't mix there is no uh, lead in the pencil showing in my work I use acrylics I like acrylics better than I do watercolor because they're a little stronger and I can always dilute them like what would you rather do a child or an adult or, well I of course your beloved dog of course. I yes my Murphy he passed away last year but I do, I really enjoy doing dogs. I do a lot of dogs that have passed away. Mm -hmm. And I, I still smile at them and figure, well, nobody's, you're still thought of, you know. So, exactly, yeah. you're still remembered. Yeah. Oh yeah, nice. I mean, 
they, they become families to me. I, I see you have the Canfield photos from the green and things yes. like that. You sh are you looking to make those into note cards and stuff? Well, I, I think I that might. is a really well, good idea. Yeah, I just didn't know whether it would be a good uh, uh, need for them. Think about that. It's yes. the uh, gazebo yeah. up there, you know, right there on the yeah. green. Everybody knows that, and it's local. Yeah. And, I mean, that's just so pretty. Yeah. And I'll, with my computer, be a great Christmas without, with my computer, I could actually put that and then one of the... Uh, other buildings here and there, like I did the portrait of Ben. Yeah. You know, make them, you know, and I can I can do it all different ways if anybody would want them. You know, maybe a card maker would be have a good suggestion. Yes, uh, I'm a gonna printer. have to be your agent, Irene. I'm gonna have to like uh, figure <laughs> out. We're gonna we're, we're gonna make some do re mi. Do you ever sketch for fun? Do you ever just sit around uh, only and, when and I doodle? Only when I went to Alcapulco. I did. Um, we have the little casitas, and they were individual pools, and the rocks around them. And every day, the little boy would come down the ladder, or down the rocks, and clean our, the hibiscus out of our pool. And so I was sitting up there, and I drew, I sketched them. Yeah. And this other doctor and his wife were with us. So I, when, when they went, when the men went to play golf, yeah. I sketched. The Casey Malone Show is sponsored in part by Denise and John York and the DeBartlow Corporation.